So the situation in northeastern Syria continues to get worse. We're looking at hundreds of thousands of Kurds that have since been displaced since Donald Trump announced that he'd be withdrawing troops from northeastern Syria. Now, it's to the point where we can, I think, accurately characterize this as an attempt at ethnic cleansing by Turkey. This could potentially devolve into full-out genocide. It's just a really sad situation. And what really makes matters worse is that this wasn't thought through. This could have been avoided. But because Donald Trump is a buffoon, because he's easily influenced, because he has no coherent foreign policy ideology or knowledge of geopolitics in the region, just a single phone call with Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan got him to move troops out of northern Syria and essentially green light the chaos that has been caused. So... Let's be clear, though, of course, we shouldn't stay in Syria forever, and withdrawing should still be a priority. But you don't just leave and allow the Kurds who helped us defeat ISIS to remain vulnerable to Turkish aggression. But that's what Donald Trump did. Rather than trying to formulate a plan, some type of contingency plan, rather than working with European allies, rather than trying to get UN peacekeeping forces to go there and just act as a peacekeeping force rather than just the mere thousand troops that we had there if you truly wanted to withdraw, I mean, that would have been preferable. But because Donald Trump doesn't know what he's doing, he has blood on his hands. So he's a bad person, but he knows that he's going to be attacked because of this idiotic decision that he made, uh, presumably on a whim. And now he's trying to scramble to right the wrong. And what we have is a leaked letter to Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan, and he penned this on October 9th. And let me just say, when I first saw this letter... I did not think this was real. I thought it was fake. Like, I thought this was satirical. This is literally a letter that Donald Trump wrote to the Turkish president to solve the crisis that he caused, right? Because, of course, Turkey is at fault for choosing to invade and displace the Kurds and do this ethnic cleansing, but Donald Trump is complicit. He greenlit this whole debacle. So he's trying to right that wrong, but... This letter gives us a little bit of a snapshot of how he chooses to conduct diplomacy. And I think, honestly, and I, and I truly mean this earnestly, a 10-year-old would do a better job, would probably construct a more coherent and mature response. So, I'm going to read this. This is the letter that President Donald Trump sent to another president of another country. He actually sent this. Dear Mr. President, Let's work out a good deal, exclamation. You don't want to be responsible for slaughtering thousands of people, and I don't want to be responsible for destroying the Turkish economy, and I will. I've already given you a little sample with respect to Pastor Brunson. I have worked hard to solve some of your problems. Don't let the world down. You can make a great deal. General Mazlum is willing to negotiate with you, and he is willing to make concessions that they would never have made in the past. I am confidentially enclosing a copy of his letter to me just received. History will look upon you favorably if you get this done the right and humane way. It will look upon you forever as the devil if good things don't happen. Don't be a tough guy. Don't be a fool. I will call you later. Ladies and gentlemen, President of the United States, he literally sent that letter to another president. This is how he conducts diplomacy, by trying to persuade foreign leaders. You know, you don't want to be viewed as the devil, so don't be a fool, don't be a tough guy. Let's work out a good deal. It. This is embarrassing. This is genuinely embarrassing this is our president who seriously wrote this letter we need to end our forever wars but what he did here was try to make it seem as if he's being anti-war he's taking the you know the non-interventionist stance but his actions facilitated more war and we're just getting started
Now we are imposing sanctions on a NATO ally, Turkey. This was all started because of Donald Trump, because he couldn't come up with some type of plan to withdraw the troops in a responsible way. Um, rather than trying to get UN peacekeeping forces there, we're just going to leave them, even though we know the consequences of this. <sighs> I've got nothing else to say about this. You could support the Humanist Report at patreon.com slash humanist report. But trust me, I'd have way more supporters on Patreon if that was my podcast. Sad. <laughs>